country I'm from, there is no room or space for self-discovery. Everyone is on the move and everyone is struggling to survive. Trying to find a way to express yourself in all this chaos is really hard. But that burning hunger to achieve your aims and your dreams is what keeps everyone going. Without that, you can't survive. Rollerblading in Lagos is completely absurd to a lot of people. They feel you can't get anything off it, you know? They just think it's for kids. But rollerblading gives you this sense of freedom, sense of the true form of sincerity. Every form that you try to understand, you picture it in your mind before you do it. Bringing it to realization, man, that's the most beautiful thing ever. I think it's such a, a blessing that we have this this community, our, our culture is so embracive and it's so pure that you can go anywhere in the world and know one rollerblader and that could change everything. But what motivated me to come out here really was just the, the passion, the dedication, It was so impactful, I could feel it from my house in California. But to do something like what Daniel's doing out here is very special and unique. You know, you have to be mentally, physically, spiritually strong to survive here in Lagos. You can't just be going and waxing some ledge or, or grinding some rail or spot because it, it, it can come with a price, really. And that could be not just money, but that could be your life. It's not a game out here. You just have to be tough, man. If you're not, the city's gonna swallow you, bro. It's really hard for it to skate in the city, but irrespective, we still do it. Why? Because we love it. We don't let it limit us. We let it shape us to become the bladers that we are. Uh, how how you want to play? We go, we go. Yeah, you want to be so we do you like maybe one support in the middle, you're doing the seven feet you make? You make do with what you have. That's how you survive here. I mean, everything that stays in the city is something that has built upon blood, sweat, and tears.
key drive to this whole mission is to set up a legacy that's never going to end. Like pump with you it. pump it, yeah. So, because if you jump off of it, it'll make you come away from it. You I just wanted to do what I could to be a part of that and to be able to support and help in any form or shape that was an ultimate goal. The way I started this business, I got gold contact from Lola Blade. I sent them email. You understand? Mm -hmm. They replied me. But by that time, they don't want to like ah, Nigeria, Nigeria. Well, I told them that I am different. Yeah. I want to do business with yeah. you. I'm different. Mm -hmm. Okay, they said Let, let's give you a trial. What what motivates you to, to to stay doing this? Well, I love this with passion. I see skate future for mm -hmm. young people. Mm -hmm. they, I have to do my best for them, encouraging them, telling them, yeah, this is skate. Skate for life, you understand? Mm -hmm. You skate, you get life. That's the mentality where we need to be at. You gotta think about like the big picture. This is something that's just the, literally the beginning of what's to come. Seeing the youth out here, they don't even realize how amazing they are already without even knowing the history behind it. And they, here they are, you know, 360 over rails and sticks and jumping over tires and doing all these things that they, they are creating themselves without even realizing there's a whole culture standing right there behind them ready to support them. You were lame, I'm the opposite, begging for likes and compliments When your circle competent, you don't talk, you accomplish I'm dedicated, just elevated to levitating Been on charge like Raiden, I'm tired of waiting, I'm aggravated Snap a finger, I'm activated, they captivated Like that's amazing, that's right right there. The back like a tax evasion Attack evading and parry quickly, get very swiftly Having people like Brad Freeman come out to Nigeria has not just given people hope. He's given them the drive, the motivation. And to tell us that it's not impossible for us to come together as a community. When we leave, I want you guys to still keep this going. Sure, okay? Sure. Don't just stop being passionate about what you guys are doing. Because this is a family. Look around. Look around. Look at everybody around you. You know what I'm saying? We got one thing in common. Everything on our feet right now. This is really, really important. So I want y'all to keep that love going. Let's get it forever. For real. Alright? For me, living in Lagos is a flickering TV. It's not stable. It's not clear, but when rollerblading came into my life, it shaped me and gave me an opportunity I would never have gotten if I had listened to someone else, if not myself. So the most important thing is for you to listen to yourself. Sit down and look deep into your heart and ask yourself, what do you really want to do? And chase that with all the burning passion you have in you. <laughs> 